effective communicators know how to identify their audience and what's most important to them. It's equally important to understand the territory you're getting into, the different types of stakeholders, influencers, and community members that make up your audience, what kinds of challenges they face, what they value most, etc. Once you know who you're talking to and what you want to say, it's time to get the message out there. Choose the best way to put your message out in front of your audience. Nervousness and anxiety are natural emotions that all humans experience, whether in a job interview, meeting a new romantic partner, or delivering a presentation to an audience. However, being overly concerned about how you appear to others can hinder your ability to connect with others on a meaningful level. Conquering anxiety is more than simply learning how to talk correctly, it's about becoming the best version of yourself, which is required to want to speak like a master and speak with a lot of conviction. Be brief, but be clear. Be active, and don't hesitate to use strong words to enhance your message. The active voice makes your writing more effective and engaging. It sounds like you are talking to the reader instead of listing off facts, which is much easier for readers to understand and follow. Passive voice is misleading and ambiguous. Vague and indirect writing leads to misunderstanding. Avoid it, making your writing more transparent, direct, and less likely to create confusion. Crafting a perfect pitch can be tricky, but plenty of resources help with the process. First, identify the problem your company is solving. What's the main reason customers will want your product or service? Next, consider the market you're selling to and who will be interested in your solution. Next, go into detail about your business, how you plan to deal with customer requests and complaints. After you have all the answers to these questions, investors will want to know what the pitch means for them. Don't forget to share your go-to-market strategy and your plan for generating revenue. Make sure to share milestones for when you expect the business to be profitable, as well as when your investors will see a return on their investment. 